Elsa was 17 years old the day before yesterday. Next year, she'll turn 20. How come? It's possible if the present day is January 1st, while Elsa's birthday is on the 31st of December. The day before yesterday, on December 30, she was still 17 years old. Yesterday, on the 31st of December, she turned 18. Thus, this year, Elsa turns 19 and next year, 20. Elsa and her sister Helga explore an old attic in their parents' house. It's very dark and dirty. After that, they go downstairs to have some lunch. Helga's face is all covered with dust, while Elsa's face is super clean. But still, only Elsa goes to the bathroom to wash her face. Why? Elsa noticed that her sister's face was dirty, so she thought her face must be dirty too. As for Helga, she saw that Elsa's face was clean and assumed that her own face was clean too. After lunch, Elsa and Helga go for a walk across an enchanted forest. They reach the riverbank, but the bridge is closed for repairs. The sisters notice two dwarfs fishing in a boat near the bridge. They agree to help the sisters, but their boat is very tiny. It can fit either one sister or two dwarves. Luckily, they managed to solve this issue. Elsa and Helga cross the river on the same boat. How? Well, first of all, one of the dwarves brought his fellow on the opposite bank. Then he headed back for the sisters alone. Helga got into the boat and crossed the river. She gave the second dwarf the boat, and he returned to the opposite bank. He picked his fellow dwarf and brought him to Helga. Then one of the dwarves swam to Elsa and passed the boat to her. She crossed the river and joined Helga, and finally, the second dwarf returned to his fellow. Helga and Elsa keep on walking and get lost in the forest. There are three roads to the nearest town. The first route is filled with mutant plants which feed on humans. The second path leads through an ice cave, with a hungry dragon frozen inside a huge ice cube. The third route leads through a village of fairies. Their magic makes humans lose their minds. Which way is safe? Well, the dragon is trapped inside the ice cube, so it's not that dangerous. Finally, the sisters reach the town. They're walking down the main street. Suddenly, someone throws an orange right at Helga's head. Elsa identifies the apartment from which the fruit fell out and goes there to complain. She knocks, and a young man opens the door right away. Elsa explains that her sister was hit by an orange that fell from his window. But the guy says, I was washing my dog when you knocked. Only me and my pet live here, so you confuse the floors. But Elsa didn't believe him. Why? According to the man, he was bathing his only pet. But the dog's hair is dry. Therefore, his story is fake. Elsa and Helga enter the local home decor shop. Helga takes a picture of her sister standing in front of the mirror. Can you spot anything odd in this photo? Take a closer look at the mirror. Elsa's hands are reflected wrong, as well as the sale poster behind her. She must be a vampire. <laughs> Just kidding. The sisters continue exploring the shop. But suddenly, Elsa begins to scream and runs away. That's because one of these ladies is not alive. Can you guess who? The first woman is an ordinary human. There's a mirror behind her. The third lady has a painting of herself in the background. And the second lady, who's looking over her shoulder, is a phantom. Oh God. Her reflection in the mirror doesn't match the reality. Elsa decides to hide in a building nearby. Surprise! It's a pet shop. Elsa wanders around it and spots one weird detail. Can you see it too?
The turtle is wearing sunglasses. The locals tell Elsa and Helga about a creepy werewolf who has been scaring the citizens for several weeks. They only know that this werewolf is a lady, and she has a husband. He's the only person who can calm her down. Elsa finds three suspects who might be the werewolf's husband, but none of them admits it. Can you find him? He's the second guy. There are suspicious brownish hairs on his clothes, although his own hair is blonde. The next day, Helga has a birthday party. Elsa goes to the bakery to purchase a cake for her. She's late, so she rushes over and bumps into a waiter. Elsa hits her head and forgets what cake Helga asked her to buy. She remembers just three things. It shouldn't have any green elements, the cake frosting shouldn't include more than one color, and it must have at least one berry. Can you help Elsa find the correct cake? Elsa should take the fourth cake. It's a chocolate cheesecake, so it doesn't have anything green. The glazing is brown and is decorated with cherries. A perfect match! Elsa buys the cake and leaves. The bakery is located inside the highest tower in town. Elsa enters the elevator to go down, but she hits the wrong button and finds herself on the roof. She decides to take some pictures with the iconic huge clock installed at the top of this tower. Oops! Elsa drops her phone from the roof. She decides to leave, but someone has already locked the door. And the elevator won't work. So she's trapped on the roof. Luckily, Elsa can still change the time of the clock. What time should Elsa set on the clock to make someone notice and rescue her? If she sets 5.05 on the clock, it'll look like an SOS signal. Finally, Elsa escapes from the tower and heads to the parking lot. Here's her car! Can you figure out the number of the place where it's parked? Eighty-seven. Elsa arrives home. Helga shows her vacation photos sent by her new boyfriend, Kyle. In this case, you can see Kyle, his friend Bob, and a humanoid robot, Neo. Neo is standing next to Bob. A person wearing the yellow mask is not a man. What color is Kyle's mask? According to the terms, only the third guy can be Kyle, so his mask is blue. The birthday party is going well. It's almost midnight, so Elsa goes to the kitchen and adds candles on the birthday cake. Suddenly, she remembers that the only lighter in the house is upstairs in her room. She leaves the cake at the table for a minute. Then Elsa returns and sees the cake smashed all over the floor. She questions three suspects. Lauren says, I was in the living room all night. I don't know who did it. Wendy says, I went outside to watch the full moon. It's so beautiful tonight. Kyle says, I was shooting a TikTok dance with Helga. Who ruined the cake? Wendy, take a look out the window. The moon is not full. <clears throat> Busted! The next morning, Helga wakes up earlier than Elsa and checks her feed. Breaking news, a legendary thief ran away from a nearby prison and now creeps around the town. He's a talented shapeshifter, so no one knows for sure what he might look like. Suddenly, Helga hears someone ringing on the door. She opens and faces two guys who introduce themselves. Bob is a gardener from a nearby park, and Peter is a garbage man. Both guys want to use a bathroom, so they ask Helga to let them in. But only one of them is safe to invite over. Can you guess who? Bob is wearing clothes with red stains, but he's also holding a brush, so he was probably just painting a fence. Let's take a closer look at Peter's facial hair. One mustache has come unglued. It's fake. 
So he must be the runaway criminal from the news. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.